Okay, so once again, uh, thanks for all of you uh, spending time to attend to their sharings. So really appreciate. I hope today's sharing will get at least uh, you can get something uh, you can learn something on it. Uh. Okay. So okay, so today our topic is uh, about the post cashless solutions. So I think a lot of you have heard uh, about a cashless. Actually, what is a cashless? Uh, uh, so at today's session, we're going to go, go through with you. Okay, so, so first of all, I would like to check, ask you, what, actually what retail merchant use to keep their money? Uh? Okay, so let's say if you think about, uh, let's say around 40, 50 years ago, this is 40, 50 years ago, how they keep their, their money? And they're doing the retail business. Okay. So as you can see, actually, uh, there's a minor thing hanging in there. Actually, this is how they keep their money. Let's say if they do the transactions, let's say, okay, so if they want to exchange or keep their money, they will pull down this uh, minor thing and put all their money inside. This is uh, how it's happened in uh, from uh, 50 years ago. Okay, so this is the cash box. Okay. So then, Around 25, 30 years ago, then we have a cash register machine. This is a more uh, well-organized and systematic uh, machine to help you to do your sales transaction to keep all your cash inside these machines. Okay, same, so how about now? Okay, so this ticket, actually no, most of the retail, let's say if you go to shopping mall or the uh, hypermarket or all the retail shop, normally they are, Maybe using the post system. What is post system? So post system we call is a point of sale system. So this point of sale system actually is not just the cash register. Actually, it's more than cash register. Okay, why? So because the design they have a sticker design, actually more well organized design. Then also with the post system, you can have your uh, more uh, detail management uh, control. So this retail management is uh, what it's uh, all about. Actually, it's regarding the, let's say, for example, you can have your inventory control. Actually, you can know all your items, the stock in, stock out, all your stock movement. You can know which item is the top selling items, which item is the low selling item. Everything is can control under this system. Then also beside the inventory control, you can do a lot of your marketing uh, strategy, like promotions. You can do, okay, maybe you can buy free plan, uh, okay, DWP plan, uh, everything actually in the system, you can, uh, you can well, uh, how to say, define your promotions, then the system will, according to your setting, it should automatically apply the, uh, apply the promotion. Uh, it's com compared to manual, this is more auto automatic. Okay. Then next, actually, the system actually able to integrate to uh, various ma payment methods. So let's say if uh, compared to cash register, actually you just keep a cash. But this uh, with the post system, actually it allow you to have the opportunity to link your solution to uh, uh, to accept other payment method, like e-wallets, uh, uh, credit card, uh, debit card, uh, and others. Okay. Besides, actually the, the system, post system actually allow you to have more integrations. In terms of what, actually, let's say, example, you can link to the scanner, uh, link to the printer, link to it, and link to the weighing machines. Everything linked up together, actually, you uh, ease your operations. So actually, the, with the system, actually, you can provide, uh, provide you a more, more uh, simplified operations. Then also, it help you to solve your all the inventory, uh, all, the, uh, all the detail problems. Besides that, just nowadays, actually, the system also ready for you for the future expansion. Because nowadays, so besides uh, doing the physical retail business, a lot of, uh, I think, retail, retails, retailers, actually, they are moved their business to online business, like marketplace, uh, e-com business. So this solution actually allow you to uh, uh, integrate your online business and online system under one hub. It's an O2O management solution. So uh, to help you to synchronize your online orders, your offline orders, everything synchronized under one system. Same with the payments, various payment from online and offline, the inventory control from the online offline, and the accounting. And also you can uh, implement your member loyalties that can link your offline member and online member together. So 
with the post system actually is very suitable for not only for the large uh, multi-chain store actually for SME the single store and the medium medium middle industry also is very suitable this is allow you for the future expansions okay so actually in short means the post system is the must for the uh, retail business Okay, next we are going, going to go through actually uh, uh, some of the customer payment behavior. So of course, first payment, uh, customer uh, like to use cash to pay. Actually, this is a primary choice of the payment method. Cost nothing to process, but slowly out of favor with younger consumer. Why? Actually, it's uh, quite troublesome. Uh, let's say, for example, you buy something is 100, uh, one, one ringgit 50 cent. So let's say you only have a uh, fifty dollar. So the idea you have to pay the fifty dollar. Have to wait for the cashier to uh, uh change uh, uh around forty plus. So actually quite troublesome for the younger. The so far the younger generation they they want the convenient way. So that's why the cash is slowly out of favor with that for the younger generations. And then for the cash pay, uh, the payment method cash actually you have a lot of fat and damaged bank problem. So actually, I think some of you may receive a cash uh, with all the all the all the sticker there or the sentiment there to pick up the cash. I think you will face a lot of this problem. Next, payment behavior will be the credit and debit card. So this is the buy now and pay later concept. Okay, so uh, no bank notes, only the cards. Then only pay with the exact amount. Let's say example, okay, so let's say now you can say 25 ringgit 50 cent. Actually, you just uh, use the card and pay exact 25 uh, and 50 cents. So this payment is a popular uh, payment method among the young and middle age consumer. Of course, okay, but this payment method, you have to apply the, apply the credit card merchant device from the bank. So certain transition costs will be charged to the merchants. Then next, we move to e-wallet. So e-wallet will be the mobile or mobile, uh, mobile uh, the mobile wallet inside your mobile device. So need, uh, you don't need to bring any cash or card. Actually, you just need to bring your mobiles and you can make the transactions. So that's why no physical bank note and credit card and the plastic card before. So same with credit card, you only pay with the asset amount. So now e-wallet is getting more popular, popular among the young and middle age as well. Because it's a, a lot of, uh, it's very convenient and a lot of reward uh, from the credit card. That's sorry for the e-wallet uh, uh, vendor. Of course, things like credit card exchange, certain transition costs we charge to merchant as well. Okay. Then we have an online mobile banking. This is another type of payment method. So it's a transfer, you transfer the money electronic, electronically. Of course, no bank not at plastic card. This one is the same. Also, pay exact amount only. And the more favor by young consumer. So actually, you can notice now a lot of services actually they encourage you to use the online uh, mobile banking. Like you can pay your uh, uh, bill, uh, water bill, uh, or uh, unified bill, everything you can go through the online bank. So next will be the vouchers. Okay, voucher equivalent of cash, uh, value of cash. Of course, same actually no bank note and uh, the cards. This is normally is the gift and member loyalty tactic by the merchants. Uh. So you buy their uh, the, the vouchers that they use it. Usually only can be used under same merchant. Uh. Depends, uh, depends on the, their policy. Uh. So this is a various uh, payment method behavior of the current uh, consumer. Okay, so I want to ask, actually moving forward, is a cash domi uh, dominant society. Do you agree on this statement? Okay, you agree? So I just tell you some of the example. Uh, Okay, first, now actually, if you notice some of the parking uh, in the building, uh, 
is a, uh, implement the cashless parking system already. Example, somewhere, if you go to somewhere pyramid, actually no longer do you have a physical uh, parking ticket. Everything will be a cashless. So uh, even some of the other buildings, they are actually they are implemented the touch and go, only accept the touch and go payment method. So actually now a lot of uh, commercial buildings, they are practicing a cashless parking system. Then of course, in the street parking, let's say if you notice, I think a lot of you uh, uh, know, actually now, even the street parking, they are accept the e-wallets. Okay, so traditional uh, parking, uh, okay, so some will, you allow, uh, will need you to purchase the coupon, then you have to scratch, scratch, and put in the car. Then also some is uh, you have to uh, go to the parking machine and pay the parking and take the ticket and put it in front of your car. But now actually, with this e-wallet parking system, actually you just use the mobile and pay your parking. It's a very convenient way. So even now, actually, a lot of big uh, hypermarket actually they are, uh, they already accept the cashless, uh, cashless uh, payment type. You will notice when you go to Maidina, you go to Jayana, let's go, everything actually they accept the cashless. Okay. So now a lot of cashless market also as well. So a lot of they, they encourage the market also go to the cashless society. They also even vending machine actually the luck to accept the cashless payment. Besides that, even of or let's say example, the self service kiosk, if let's say if you go to McDonald's to order, actually they also accept this. Yeah. Then you can see cashless Toby. I mentioned just now the cashless fast food change. Actually, what factor contribute to this uh, to this uh, cashless society? First, very convenient and efficient. Actually, even nowadays, we have to try to eliminate a lot of manual things. That's why we will, some uh, or the uh, younger generation, they prefer the more convenient and efficient way to make the payments. That's why this is one of the key factors. Then, of course, with, uh, the, with the Tesla's uh, uh, system, actually, it can reduce the human mistake and the competition. This all will be all uh, system, systemized already. Automized and systemized. Okay. And then also the government's initiative. That's why you can notice now government can keep encourage you uh, to go for cashless. They uh, implement a lot of things, even the reason is that uh, they, 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 they have e earlier programs for the youngster to apply for the 150 program for the e wallets. Then, of course, the COVID 19 pandemic. Okay. For this pandemic now, actually, it, it, it really, uh, how do I say, actually, it encourage all, all, you, all of a uh, merchant or all, all of the consumer they will prefer the cashless and also the contactless. That's why this is the factors that contribute to the cashless society. Okay, you can see others are uh, example. You can see on the e-wallet among licensing requirement for market trader. So actually, you can see. Like I mentioned just now, the uh, 15 million Malaysian getting the, you can see government kick have a different type of program to encourage uh, all the all the merchant and consumer to go cashless. So like I mentioned just now, the e earlier. So e wallet credit in, increased to 150. So towards this activity, the government keep uh, educate all the, all the consumer, all the merchants go cashless. So this is some of the statistics I uh, just to share with you. Okay, so transaction volume by type of digital payments. You can see online banking, mobile, the e-wallet actually you can be uh, around 50, uh, around half or it is 56%. This is a transaction volume. Uh, then I just share with you the payment method trend in selected countries in South, South Asia. You can see Malaysia is the uh, increase around 40% amongst others uh, uh, country. So you can see actually these uh, keep increasing. So actually you talk about e-wallet, it's not one or two years time. Actually the e-wallet actually is uh, around, it started on 2017. Actually it's quite some time ago, but that time is not uh, very popular yet. Actually it's not one or two years time. Okay. You can see the landscape in Malaysia, 
in two one seven. Actually, you can see Samsung Pay, Ali Pay, uh, Boost. Slowly, you can see all the merchant that are and not all the e-wallet provider that are You can see actually uh, the, the all the journeys. So this is a statistic just to share with you the e-wallet e use in the last three months for the two one eight or two one two two. You can see actually it will keep increasing compared to uh, let's say three Q the two one eight only twelve percent. But you can see the 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 usage is keep increasing. Okay, then you can see on average how many e-wallets do you use. You can see actually the statistics. This proven that more people are using the e-wallets. And then by age and income, you can see the by age income, the Gen, Gen Y, Gen, Gen Y, Gen, Gen, Gen X actually all is using, even the older generation, they are using the e-wallets. So all oh, this is actually proven actually is more, uh, it's a very popular idea. You can see, okay, just share with you, okay, the top five e-wallet use in, uh, in the market. Cash and go, grab pay, Maybank QR, boost, and big pay. Just to share with you, this is top five e-wallet use. Right? Okay, normally where are e-wallets being used? I'll just to share with you. Actually, you can see uh, FMB, uh, grocery, uh, CES, and food delivery, and, and others. Then top will be the FMB. Let's say you are the FMB line. So I will encourage you to apply the e-wallet, to use the e-wallet. So, this is the analysis uh, ben, uh, on the benefit of cashless society. So 56% will say ability to track financial record easily. It's everything, let's say if you're using cash, you do not have a proper way to have a record your, your spending or the, the financial record in a proper way. But the e-wallet, they have a, uh, you can view your mysteries. Let's say for merchant, they have a portal to view. Everything, yeah, you can know. No hassle, 54%. Then a more efficient society, 83%. Let's say if your retail is not following this trend, what will happen? Huh? So I just share with you a simple, simple analysis. Huh? Let's say, okay, so this, let's say example, 20, 30 years ago, all your, your, your sales transaction is by cash. Let's say money, you have, your sales transaction is 20,000. But nowadays, actually, the, 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 the market already accept a lot of payment method. So the consumer, some will prefer use e-wallet, credit card, and other payment method and cash. Let's say based on this, like, uh, this graph, actually, you just can, let's say your business just accept cash, means you already lost your share of the market. Example, 20,000. Now, you only maybe around 5,000 only for business, if you're not accept. Other, other, other payment method. That's all. Consumer actually is very simple. Let's say they have, uh, they have their option. Your store is cash only. Your other competitor all accept other payment type. Let's say the consumer they only bring the card and all, all and also the mobiles. They do not bring enough cash. So which store they will go? Of course, they will go to the this your competitor because they accept all the payment type. Okay, so throughout these all the statistics, so uh, do I, I, I just want to ask: Is your business cashless ready? If let's say if you are ready to cashless, but you don't know which e-wallet brand to apply, where and how to apply, where to get the credit card terminals. Is the post system can link to the cashless payment? Cashless, cashless scan, customer phone, or customer scan QR. This is a challenge you face. Let's say, example, they ask me how the things or benefit about cashless. Okay. If, let's say if this is challenge you're facing. So today we are here to help you. Okay. So Smart X Solution is an omni channel platform of modern material. So actually we provide a multi-channel okay, system actually to help you to managing your finance, inventory, sales, and customer and others. So let's say you have a physical store and online store, actually we have a system to cover all of this and help you to uh, uh, digitalize your business. Okay, so for the cash, uh, just now I mentioned a, a, a guy on the cash just, actually how our system can help you. So our system can put all the e-wallet and credit payment to in, into integrate to our 
system is a quick and easy zero error payment uh, concept. So the integration benefit will be less human error, quick and fast payment, tidy counter, drive more sales. So why I say so? So I just share with you. Let's say with the e wallet integrated solutions. So our post system, whether it's a retail post or FMB post, actually is integrated to the e wallet. The one the payment carry provider is I, called IP ADN. Okay, so IP ADN is one of the uh, leading uh, payment gateway. So why we integrate it then? Because under IP ADN, there are actually a lot of e wallets really integrated to IP ADN system. So we just need to integrate to IP ADN, then we can have all the e wallet payment done. So let's say if no integration, you have to uh, go to individually to apply. So Beside that, we also integrate to Sarawak Pay. Let's say you are a merchant from East Malaysia, you are integrated to Sarawak Pay as well. So let's say if e-wallet, let's say you go and apply e-wallet without the integration, how will you look like? What is the problem you're facing? So first, you have a messy counter with different standing QR. Okay, so your cashier counter, you have to put all your QR stand there. So it makes your counter look very messy. Then also, let's say customer, they want to pay, they have to search for QR, which uh, uh, where, where is touch and go? Uh, they go okay. Let's say if you scan the wrong one, then you show error. That's why you will, you will, you will, it will cause a lot of uh, hassle. Then let's say if without indication, you apply separately uh, to each uh, uh, e-wallet uh, vendor. So you have to check transaction from different report every day. Because it's different system. So you have to uh, log in to Boost, uh, you have to log in to touch and go, uh, and log in others to check the different report every day. Then more time to train a cash in hundred different e wallets. Let's say you are not integrated. Okay, so uh, let's say example, I accept uh, boost. Then I said touch and go, I just grab, I just grab back QR. So in different type of uh, different type of e wallet, actually you have to teach your cash. Okay, let's say they pay this. You what is your SOP? You pay another. What is your SOP? You have to train your staff. So you cash have to remember a lot of things. So then, of course, you have to worry about the misconduct mistake from the start. Why? Let's say the uh, let's say for let's say you have no integration, the traditional way of this asset e wallet is the customer have to scan the QR. So they have let's say they uh, decided they pay by touch and go, they open their wallet, they have to scan the QR, then type in the amount. Let's say the transaction is ten ringgit, the customer accidentally press one ringgit, and pay. And the cashier never noticed. That means that means you have to you, your this transaction, you only receive one ringgit instead of ten ringgit. So you lost nine ringgit. So this this is the things you need to worry. So with integration, actually, it will help you. Actually, it's only one button to handle for all e wallet types. So one report for all e wallet types. Then the counter no stand no the no QR standing at all, and then the secure transaction as well. So how it works? So we go to the counter, pay. Customers show their show their QR. You just use the scanner to scan. So you auto detect which e wallet they are paying. Then you have then one scan ready, complete the transaction ready. Then you have the live report or the daily payment report inside the backend system that auto bank in. Everything is under uh, one hub. Okay, so I just share with you a quick view of the real transition, how you process. Okay, first, let's say if you pay by cash, okay. This is the transition K by pay by cash. So the one ring transition you pay by two ringgit, it will show you like this. Okay, let's say now, okay, you 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 going to pay by you wallet one ringgit. So let's say you only press the one button, let's say customer they decided to pay by boost. They just need to show them, show the boost QR. So the cashier just needs to use the scanner to scan the QR. And the transition will go through it. Then the receipt will print out. So compared to traditional way, this is more convenient. It will show you this transition is paid by boost. Okay, let's say example, next customer, 
they decided to pay by another e-wallet type. Let's say, like, go to the payment, they still follow the same, same step. Let's say now it's pay by touch and go. They just need to press the same button. It's one button to uh, control for every e-wallet transactions. As you can see, even I pay by boost, I do pay by touch and go, actually the process is still the same. Next, if I put my other payment type, actually it's still the same, you can see. Now I pay by grab, it's still the same. I press the same button, customer show the QR, uh, QR. I just, I same step, I use the scanner to scan the barcode. Actually you can see all the process will be the same. So if you can see other e-wallet, if I use all the e-wallet WeChat pay, it's still the same process, still the same process. So it's very convenient, easy for your cashier to learn that. Okay. So let's say, okay, so now end of day, I, when I do the cash count, so system will auto for what? Auto print out all the report necessary. What? The, how many e-wallet you are received? When doing the end of day, end of day transaction. So the back-end report, it will show like this. Okay. So you can have an analysis report, you can know, okay, so how many you receive for Booster, Touch and Go, everything it will break down for you. Okay, you know among okay your shop among your shop which e-wallet is the most popular actually from the report everything the system able to generate for you. Okay, so next now we move to the credit card uh, credit card integrations. So same, so our whole system, our retail post and FMB post is integrated to B G Y. Let's say if you go to uh, the shopping mall or shop to a retail the merchant, you go and uh, buy something, you, let's say you pay by credit card, you can see a lot of people are using this type of credit card device. This model is A, it's called A920. Actually, it's provided by Revenue Group. This is a very popular uh, model in the market. That's why we are integrated. So actually, the you can see this is, they have a real touch screen. This is a touch screen, touch screen uh, panel. They have a camera, high quality camera for enable to fast scan. Okay. So accepting all kinds of payments. If you apply, apply you accept a credit card, debit card and others. So, so actually have a fast thermal printer, print up the receipt. And this is a sample merchant this you can see the dashboard will show you the transaction details. So it means okay, when, uh, when you do the trans customer do uh, use the card to do the transactions, you can log into the portal to check the transaction details. This is the daily report you can export to video Excel for further analysis as well. Okay, so for the credit card uh, transactions, credit card device, normally or uh, let's say without integration. How it been done? Okay, very simple. When you walk to the counter, so let's say the hand transaction is 250, 250. So normally, okay, the, the cashier will let you know, okay, so total 250. So then you say you pay by card. So they have then the cashier have to take out the machine and press and key in the amount. Okay, so then you have to cut your card and or shut your card to key in your pin. Once the transaction go through, the cashier have to go to the system post system to key in the whatever details. So actually, you have a lot, a lot of uh, uh, human human works. Let's say 250, your cashier accidentally uh, press 25, the transaction go through already. The cashier not notice, then the, the, uh, the consumer also uh, didn't away everything. Then you for 250 transaction, you only accept 25 ringgit. 
So with the integration method, actually it's a user-friendly operation. Later, I will share with you how it can be integrated. So the terminal rental fees is with, let's say, if you're using this. Then also we have a then the system under the system is a secure and unified payment, uh, payment method, same like the e-wallet, only one uh, buttons. So you know, you say, okay, customer prep like credit card, you have to search for credit card button, bad debit button, or MX or what, whatever. That auto sync the payment amount. Instead of cashier, the credit card amount, the, the, the amount from the system will auto sync to the credit card device. This is totally to eliminate the human error and also the typo mistake. Auto cash card, auto settlement, the inventory control, they're all in one report. So the what, okay, so I just share with you how it works on the two system. Okay, first thing, okay, customer, they want to make a sales transaction. Okay, go to the counter, you just select an item, you go to the payment screen, the cashier go to the payment screen, they just need to click the button only, one button, make a payment. Then the payment amount of uh, payment amount you direct integrate to the device means the cash you don't need key in. So customer just to need to use the uh, user just to uh, pay with or slot in the card and key in the pin. Then the system will auto print out the solution. Uh, uh, it's very simple. Yeah, now I will share with you actually the actual life environment, how it works. So the cashier will select the item, customer can select this item, then go to the payment screen. I press the button, I pay my credit card. The auto, you can see the amount will appear at the device there. It's very fast, no need for cashier to key in. So you can see, done, the transition is done already. So the transition is 15, 15 ringgit. The 15 ringgit will appear at the device. Customer, pay with. The detail will be flow back to the system. As you can see, this is very simple and straightforward. Even for the re, uh, refund and what sales transition, also is integrated to the device as well. Let's send the customer one for the so for the system, we just select a receipt, we refund the old bill. Then you just confirm you want to refund. Okay, the system there, you, you also integrate to the device and refund auto fill out the refund slip. You can see the system uh, is trying to uh, minimize the human. Everything the system will automize. You can see how convenient it is. So with the integration, one scan, save time, no double entry, one terminal to settle for all cashless payment. Then the clean the countertop and fast and secure. You can see this in summary, summary. So actually for the integration method, actually it can a lot of, it cut a lot of works for you. The human location works. Then also the back end. Back end means the account in the, the, for them to easily check the, the cashless transaction sections. So it's very convenient. Okay. So I really go through with you. Okay, so the e-wallet integration method and also the credit card integration method. So why smart? Why us? Why do you need to use our system? Actually. Our system is an O2O vaccine. So one hub means your, your brother, your business, uh, you have a business in uh, uh, you have a retail store or you have an uh, online business, means you, you sell your I, uh, item in Lazada, Shopee, or also you have your own e-com. Actually, it can combine everything integrated in the under one hub. Control, I mentioned, control your inventory, control your accounting, everything is under one system. Okay, so, with our 20 plus year history in the retail market, actually we have a lot of retail specialists actually can help you and advise you how you can digitalize in, uh, in, implement the system. We have more than 20,000 clients 
actually is using our system. Then uh, for our backup, actually, uh, we are from West Malaysia and local and, and East Malaysia, actually, we can have a no local nationwide team help you. So whether your business in, in uh, 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 small, medium, actually, it's not an issue. Our system, let's say you start with one store, then in future, you expand to multiple stores, it's no issue at all. At all. We have customer that can really start with one store, then grow to multiple stores. So our biggest client can more than 100 posts, 10 200 posts, it's not an issue at all. So we can help you. Then also our system also have an API integration ready. This in future, let's say if any other uh, third party system that want to integrate to the system, actually we are ready. And then this is our nation service point support team. And this is some of our clients that are using our system in various industry. So just to share with you. So our biggest client, like I mentioned, actually get more than 100, 100 posts. Even the back-end system, our back-end system, they have also more than 200, 200 system user. It's also not an issue. That's why our system can cater your huge transactions also. So what to expect from our host? So actually, we can provide the freedom. Let's say if you are interested, you can contact us. We have a post specialist can provide a free demo to let you know how our system can help you to solve your problem. Okay. Then we have a professional team to consult your business. Let's say you want to start with it. So you, they will have a consultation service with you to understand your current business practice to propose the, 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 the business practice that can enhance your business. From there, they can advise you. Actually, we have the professional teams. Then also, we have a support, speedy service to help you with the business startup positions. Then support, professional support after sales service. It's not like we're selling, selling a system, then one off, then we say goodbye. Actually, we have a professional support team. We will see you after the sales service also. Anything so you can contact us, then we can remove, okay, I call. No issues. Then we also have to have safety. We let's say if you have a, we can uh, subscribe our backup uh, system. So we have a duty to keep your data safe. Actually, we can have a backup solution to help to how uh, to consult you how to backup your data. Uh, then and nowadays because now uh, we prefer the contactless dimension and also the MCO period. We are not sure actually how long the MCO period. So no worry, actually we can conduct the contactless uh, implementation as well. In terms of installation, consultations, training, everything can be contactless. Then also, actually now, actually the MDEC government also have in the budget 202, actually they have uh, come up with a program, it's called MSME Digitalization in uh, Programs. Actually for you to uh, digitalize your business, they subsidize uh, your, uh, your, your, uh, for the SME. So you can get up to 5,000 per company or 50% matching grant to help you to transform your business. So good news, actually we are one of their top TSP solution providers. So actually we can help you to submit the application. Let's say if you want to go digitalization, you, you want to uh, apply the grant, actually we can help you to do the, uh, prepare the necessary document to help you to submit for the applications. Okay, so how to start, like I mentioned, so we have a post consultant, provide you the free demo expert. Then also, let's say you want to go cashless. Actually, we can help you to apply the e-wallet application and the credit card communication application, or is FOC. Means you go through with you, actually, in order to apply what is the necessary document you need to prepare, then we help you to submit, you call, we combine everything, we help you to submit the e-wallet and credit card terminal applications. Everything is FOC. Okay? Then of course, once is confirmed, the training and information thing actually they will they will guide, they will provide you a guidance what to prepare, everything regarding the business. Okay, so what is the uh, data you need? 
what are the output you expect, expected output you want, actually our consultation, our implementation team can consult you. Then I mentioned just now the ongoing support team. We have an ongoing support team. Let's say you are facing any issue. Let's say some of the thing you forgot already, you can call our support team and ask. We can help with your issue, uh, the diagnose your issues, answer your query, then also fix the update and the upgrade of the system. Okay. So last, let's say if you are interested, actually you anytime you can welcome to WhatsApp us or contact us, PM us or call us. So from there we can you can share your problem to us. From there we can advise to you actually, wow, how we can help you. Especially let's say you say you want to go for cashless, how we can help you for the application towards the, towards the applications, system implementations, and also the support. Okay. So that's thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thank you for your time to, to spend with us this morning. And uh, I would like to end this section here. And uh, I will hope that our next section, you all also uh, welcome to join us back. I think it will be next month. Will be next month, we will share something about customer loyalty system. So please stay tuned and join us back. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank Chin. Thank you. Yes, yes. Bye, all.